Today's video is going to be a Halloween cake. I did a poll on my Instagram if you wanted a cake or cookies and it was pretty close but cake did win. But I think I'm still gonna do a cookie one. So what you'll need for this cake is a cake board. This is just a 10 inch board. Um, I've got a turning table. You don't need one but it is easier if you do have one. So you'll also need the cake. Uh, this is just a seven inch vanilla. Uh, I made it vanilla because I dyed it purple. Now I always use gel food paste to dye cakes or icing or anything like that because the liquid ones will just change the consistency and it won't bake properly. So I just use purple gel food dye. You also need buttercream. This is about a kilo of buttercream. It's a kilo of icing sugar, 250 grams of unsalted butter, some milk and some vanilla extract. Um, yeah, you just beat it till it's like this. And we're gonna dye it orange because I think orange would be such a good color for this like purple and orange perfect next thing you'll need is jumbo marshmallows and then the last thing you'll need is literally just these little spiders it's just a bag of spider web with the little plastic spiders if you could get a bag of just the little plastic spiders then obviously that would be great um, or you could just make them out of fondant it would be super easy I'm just gonna do it like this because I want this cake to be as easy as possible first thing I'm gonna do is dye the buttercream because I want to make it orange and I think orange and purple would be great together. So like I said before, always use the gel food dye. Uh, liquid will change the consistency and it won't be, uh, yeah, it just won't be hard to work with. So just put a hefty scoop. I just use a knife to get it out, probably about this much. Scrape it in. So fairly light I want to make this like really vibrant so I'll add some more okay so that's what it looks like now I've added a hefty amount of dye to make it very bright and it hasn't changed the consistency of the buttercream which is what we want okay so next step is to trim the cake how weird that on the side it looks blue but like it's purple so weird so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these cakes in half so we'll have four layers of sponge with the three layers of buttercream in the inside. I think that will look the best. Before you carve a cake, I would definitely recommend putting it in the fridge so it's firm. If it's room temperature, it will crumb a lot. So definitely just even stick it in the freezer for half an hour or stick it in the fridge for a bit. That way, when you carve it, it won't like crumble and things. So turn it on the side, find the middle, and then just cut around. These. When you find the middle, just slide through. Ta -da. How cool is that? Now I'm just going to trim a little off the top to make it a little bit flatter. So, to stack the cake, you'll need a spatula like this. It's easy to spread the buttercream on. So, just pop a little bit of buttercream on first. Take your first layer of cake, pop it in the middle, and then just take a scoop of buttercream. See, this is easier with a turning table just because you can turn it as you go. And once you've got an even layer, repeat. stage we'll just do a small crumb coat around the outside this just stops all these crumbs coming because we're gonna leave this buttercream at the end we don't want any of the purple crumbs on the outside we want it to be clean nice and orange so 
there'll be lots of crumbs so what we'll do is we'll just do a thin layer of buttercream around the outside that's to track in all the crumbs so we don't have a mess Okay, now that the cake has the crumb coat on it, I locked in all the crumbs. As you can see, all those little crumbs would have been on the outside buttercream. So that just locks them all in so nothing comes out and ruins the outside finish. So it's nice and orange when we're done. So I'm just going to pop this in the fridge for about 45 minutes. Uh, that would just harden the buttercream and then we can do the final layer and then we can decorate. So the cake is out of the fridge, I'm just going to do a full coat of nice orange so that you can't see any of this and then we will do the marshmallow part which I'm super excited for because it is so much fun. You'll love it, trust me. So the way I do this is just pile the buttercream on the top like that and then use your spatula and just go back and forth really gently, you don't have to be, don't be rough with the cake. And then you'll see it start to go down the side and then you just work your way around. Like that. Now I'm just going to use my spatula to make it like rough. I don't want it to be a nice smooth cake, I want it to look a little haggard. <laughs> okay, so that's the outside of the cake done. I just used the spatula like you saw to make it a little bit more rough. We don't want it perfect because it is going to have spider webs all over it. Just nice and rough. So the next stage of the cake is to melt the marshmallows. Now I've just popped them in the ceramic bowl. I'm just going to chuck them in the microwave for like 30 seconds at a time until they start melting. Oh. So I'm just putting some gloves on because this is obviously going to get really sticky and it will be quite hot. So safety first. That's what they look like when they're melting. Oh my god, that looks amazing. I'm just going to shove my face in it, but this is really hot because it's obviously sugar. So I could do this all day. So with the marshmallow, obviously you can see it's very sticky. So what you have to do is just get a clump. Rub your hands together till you get a spider web. And then you just have to go like this over the cake. And then just do that like heaps of times. My hands. I wore gloves. How did this happen? So now we just have to stick the little spideys on. Okay, so that is the cake done. I think it turned out really cool. I love it. So this is what it looks like up close. I think this is a great one to make with your kids because they can do the marshmallow part. Get them to put some gloves on and they can do the cool spider web. I think it's really cute. So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned a little something or you're willing to try the cake out. If you do, send me the pictures because I would love to see them. Um, yeah, simple, really affordable, it's cheap, easy cake as well. And it looks pretty cute and the kids can help or your nephews or whoever or you can just have a lot of fun because... I mean, that was really fun doing the spider web. I did love it. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you liked it or you like these kinds of videos, let me know. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, God, I need to work out more. Gloves on. Oh. <laughs> I'm a wreck. Oh, my God. I'm so this is fun.